Hey everybody, welcome back. It's time for a little more Shadow Run, and we're right back where we left off. There have been some changes as I've been grinding for a bit. Most importantly, I've got Negotiation up to 4 and Reputation up to 4. You might be curious what those do. Reputation lets me into places, and I need a certain amount to progress through the game. It's also generally how well liked you are. And Negotiation is needed for a few things coming up, but it also makes you get more money from jobs and you uh, buy things more cheaply, sell things more expensive for more money, etc. We'll get into that later, but I do believe we needed to have a little chat with Mortimer Reed here. Yeah, yeah, we searched for weapons. I need some information. I need some questions answered. You're the perp. Let's see what I can do as long as it's legal. Alright, I guess I can't get my questions answered. Uh, I'll talk to you later, chump. Well, Mortimer uh, just stonewalled me. Interesting. Well, I'm going to head on out. Let's go ahead and see who else we have on our little list of tips and clues. Ivana Haversheen. Caleb Brightmore. Boris of Roscoe was the last person to see Michael alive. Okay, Boris and Ivana Haversheen. Before we do that, I, you may have noticed that it's, I've been getting nickel and dimed by the taxi driver. We're going to go fix that. 40 new yen. Ooh, man. Small fees that add up. So, what we're going to go do is we're going to go have a little chat with the Orcish Underground. I believe it's in here. I want to talk to your boss. You're on dangerous ground, chummer. This is the orc's home turf. You may be wondering why there's orcs in it. I don't know you from Adam, so I can see the, the boss. So of course you happen to have. Slot off. Get your pathetic carcass out of here before I lose my self-control. Well, I thought I had enough reputation and negotiation to uh, actually have a little chat with their boss. That bites. Hmm. Well, looks like we're headed back to the Redmond Barons to go have a little talk with Boris. And then have a chat with uh, Ivana Haversheen. So I could have sworn. Oh, and fight coming up. This is why I invested in the really expensive gun. Come on, drop down. Ooh, med kit. I can sell those for some pretty decent money, actually, about a hundred new yen each. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I I don't care. Game. Sell for hundred and six. I recovered most of the money I spent going out on that little farce. Uh, Boris. Let's go have a little chat with Boris. We've seen a lot of Boris lately. The only illumination in the greenhouse comes from the dirty skylights casting strange shadows. Seated at a cluttered desk is a wisp of a man hiding under a large hat. Come on in. Just slot your credit stick before we start talking. Time is money, chum. I'm looking for some information. Information is a commodity like anything else. I charge a flat fee of 500 up front for all info. So hack up my fee and I'll spill all I know. I'll get back to you on that. Oh, and he kicks me out. Yeah, yeah. What's your story? That'll cost you 100 to find out. No, I don't care. Not yet. I'm going to go have a little chat with uh, Ivana Haversheen. Jesus, everybody in here is looking to make a quick dime. Uh, she is in downtown Seattle at the hospital. 20 new yen to get there. No sweat. Here in a bit I'll show how I intend to get to uh, larger sums of money. Let's see, we're th this is downtown Seattle. As I was saying earlier, you may be wondering how there's orcs, elves, all that other crap in here if this is a dystopian cyberpunk game. There's an element of fantasy to it because uh, the developers behind this also made a game called The Fourth World, if I recall. Um, it was another tabletop game set in a high fantasy setting. I've never played it, but uh, it's... Oh, here we go. A flustered woman passes you by. A moment later, a grungy man passes in pursuit of the woman. It seems to you that he is planning to harm her. Hey, what's going on? man is shaken by your presence and runs away. The one rushes up to you. Thank you for your help. He'd have killed me if it wasn't for you. I don't have much, but what I have is yours. She gives you 100 new yen as you flag down a cab for her. This is what happens when you have a high charisma. You can actually yeah, succeed at these little events. 
We're going to have a little chat. You enter Seattle General Hospital. A woman with the name Dr. Haversheen stitched on her smock is filling out forms from behind a desk. You recognize her as the doctor from Michael's Holopix. May I help you? Is this your Holopix? You show her the Holopix and tell her of Michael's death. Tears stream freely, but she manages to stifle most of the sobs. Imposing herself with much effort, she begins to speak. Michael was a good friend to me. We met when he first arrived here three years ago. I can't believe he is gone. If there is anything I can do for you, Joshua, let me know. What was Michael's relation with Stark? Stark was your brother's best friend. They went everywhere together. I can't count the times one of them came in here dragging the other barely alive. I guess they, I'd guess they'd die together. I'll talk to you later, chum. As you wish. Be careful out there. Now, there are some other places we need to go, like, uh... Right up here, I believe, is the Icarus Descending. You've heard many times how culturally, culturally biased the management is towards humans, something only a prestigious, a prestigious establishment can get away with. A burly elven bouncer stands guard at the door. I'd like to go in. Yeah, I bet you would, Breeder. Breeder is a derogatory term elves have for humans. Do you have a reservation? Before you can answer, he continues, I thought not. We are quite full this evening. Try back later, like next century. Again, I do not have a high enough reputation to get in. I believe I need six, five, at least above four. Uh, I forget what company that is. What else do we have around here? I believe this is an abandoned... Oh, no, this is uh, the Gates Undersound. It's a really nice hotel. It's known far and wide for its five-star service. Many rooms and apartments are built underground, so each room literally faces the ocean. Greetings and welcome to the spectacular Gates Undersound Hotel, the finest Seattle has to offer. How may we serve you? I'll, I'll talk to you later. I didn't think I was coming into a hotel. <laughs> All right. What is? I believe this is an abandoned building. Abandoned buildings are filled with ghouls and uh, vampires and gargoyles and that sort of crap. Uh, you're probably asking me where the vampires and the ghouls came from. Humanity has seen the outbreak of a bizarre and unusual disease known as the human metahuman vampiric virus. Essentially, it turns people into vampires and ghouls. L ahead of you is a man lying on the street. He seems to be badly hurt. This guy looks to you like he needs medical attention badly. Give him first aid. Now, there are other times you can be attacked, and like you saw earlier, that's actually a vampire waiting to attack you. And if you leave, he'll leap up the side of a building with unnatural grace. His injuries are severe, but he'll live, and he hands us 150 new yen. You can get a little money from doing this. It's not as much as, say, enga being engaged in a shadow run, but uh, I should also point out, because of a little bit of grinding, we're now wearing much better armor. This has uh, five points of defense against guns and three against weapons, compared to our uh, armor vests, one against weapons and two against guns. Now you're probably wondering what these little dots are. Uh, these are called automatic successes. In Shadowrun, you would throw six-sided dice and count fives and sixes as successes, and compare and yada yada yada. I'll go into more in the, more on that in another video. But essentially, we have we will count seven hits against any enemy, and our defense will stop six of them against any enemy's attack. That's uh, it's mostly a game of uh, count of uh, counting hits. Whoever has more wins. So there, this game doesn't run on a D20 system like you would see in D and D, for instance. Ahead of you, he seems badly hurt. He needs to give first aid. If you bend down to start first aid, the man's eyes flash red. Yep, another vampire. This is also why I opted for a very expensive gun can punch through the unnaturally thick hot Jeez, one after the other! <laughs> said he is planning to harm her. Hey, what's going on here? To you for help. Following her, calls his, some friends as he pulls his weapon. Oh, shit. And it's time for a shootout. Jesus. Barely made it through that. Well, not barely. <laughs> Handily won that fight. Didn't even get scratched. This is why I wanted that armor. Because uh, without that armor, I would have gotten my ass beat. I believe this is Mitsuhama's branch. Mitsuhama's another megacorp, and they deal in technology. What's going on? Oh, god damn! I just got done with this! 
You can also lure them into shooting their friends. Jesus. If I can get a few moments to myself, the streets are quite dangerous, you see. This is, uh, Roscoe's. Roscoe is a... Roscoe sells uh, and buys information stolen from corporations, or any node on the Matrix, basically. So this is this guy is one part of how I'm going to get a lot of money very quickly. The other one requires me to go find a decker. And given my sort of crappy deck, it's going to be interesting to see what we can get away with. Here's he is some sort of law official chasing a suspect. I walk away. You hear some muffled screams. By the time you get to the alleyway, it is empty. I do not need to bring the law down on my ass right now. Uh, the law is uh, actually contracted out. Crowds part as you are approached by a Lone Star Patrol. How fortuitous! Lone Star is the contract police force that is hired out to protect areas. A moment, citizen. We want to work with you. Talk to them. Keeping your cool, you answer all their questions convincingly. Finally, Lone Star continues on its way. So because, again, high charisma, we're able to fast talk our way out of this. Alright, let's get out of here because there's been a lot of uh, action on the streets and now the police have came looking for me. Uh, I'm heading someplace a little safer. Let's head back to the Barrens. Sure th no, no, I changed my mind, actually. We're going to go to the Penumbra District and see if I can't get a job from uh, Mortimer Reed that actually will pay some decent money and won't get me killed in the process. Or maybe will, because uh, I'm sure everybody wants to see me die in here. At least once. <laughs> Alright, I believe this is the Big Rhino. The Big Rhino. Also, now would be a good time to meet my, one of my favorite runners, Winston Mars. He's a troll street samurai. An armed troll studies you with his largest pupil. You want something? I'm looking for some information. Guess I might be able to help. What's your story, chummer? His name's Mars. Did you know he was a god of war? I see things different than most. The fastest way to solve a problem is to shove a gun in it and shoot. Problem is, I can't do that all the time. I run out of bullets too fast. So I started to think, how can I get paid to shoot at people? Then it hit me. Join Lone Star. They can shoot anyone they like and get free reloads. So I studied real hard, but you know what? I was thrown out. So here I am, looking for work. Some question answer, questions answered. What do you know about Lone Star? Lone Star, I hate them. I think they're so whiz walking that streets in their regulation body armor, shooting at anyone they want. Hate them. Don't bring up that subject again. Uh, let's talk about something different. I'm looking for a good runner. Do we get to shoot people? 300 for a single run, 3,000. I need someone for the short, short term. What do you say? You, you got me, pal. No regrets, you'll see. Winston is a troll. So, clearly, he's going to have different stats. His body is maxed out. He's not very quick. He's really freaking strong. And he's a sh he's pretty good with a shotgun. And in melee. Uh, Winston also has a sort of natural armor. No, Winston, you're not going to... Winston, you're going to trade those grenades to me because I don't need you throwing them in the middle of a fight. He's also carrying an, a highly illegal shotgun. Um... Shotguns and SMGs are illegal in this setting, so we're going to have some fun when he gets into a fight. He's also capable of punching someone to death properly, uh, properly statted and equipped. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking for some work. Right up, and I'll brief you on a job I am positive you will excel at. A simple matrix run. Can't take this one. Sorry, sorry, uh, Mortimer, I don't have a decker. All right. Perhaps next time we will see uh, we'll see what kind of run we get from uh, Winston because I'm coming up on the end of the episode. It's been nice showing. It's been fun being able to share something I really enjoy playing and a tabletop system I adore. Have a good evening, folks.